Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And uh, if you've been about and about watching um, Twitter and the various Daisy news, you'll know that there's quite a lot of excitement about these fellas, dinosaurs in Daisy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install um, a dinosaur mod on your local PC server. I will be doing one that shows you how to install it on a re remote server as well. But let, let's start with uh, with a uh, a local PC to give you an idea of kind of uh, what you've got to do and uh, these are very impressive um, Raptors these let's see if we can get round so we can give you a better view I've put them on the roof so he doesn't come and kill me <laughs> Ooh, there he is making his amazing noise I guess he's hello fella no no he's poking his head through the wall isn't he Hello. <laughs> hey. Ooh, yes. Doesn't look very happy, does he? Do one of these things? Uh, oh, let's have a look. Let's see if we can get a better look. There he is. There he is. Look at this guy. What cool. Any, anyway, good. So that that's what he is. So let's um, come out of here. So he stops being noisy. Let's have a quick look at the Steam library. So, of course, the Steam Workshop for Daisy. This is where all of this stuff starts. And a big thank you has to go out to Dino's Beano's, who has um, created this mod. And so when you go over to Steam and you subscribe, make sure you go down and you join his Discord. And inside his Discord, there is um, links to throw him a few bucks as well. So that you can say, wow, this is this is absolutely amazing. However, <laughs> it's been quite challenging getting this to work, this um this this mod. Um so I'm gonna gonna walk you through it. So the first thing, as always, is log into Steam, um, do a search in the Daisy workshop for DBO underscore Raptors. Um I'll put a HTML link in the description below the video, and you want to subscribe to that. And then what will happen then is that that will then download to your local uh, version of Daisy when you when you launch it. So let me just close this. Bop, bop, bop. Um, and when you when you start up the Daisy launcher, you go down into your mods, and you will see where is it? It's up the top, isn't it? There it is. Let's unload them all so you can see them. DBO Raptors, so we know that's uh, downloaded. Then if you click on this little arrow here, click on these little three dots, you can say open folder in Windows Explorer. Just agree not to mess around with it. And this will then take you to your workshop folder um, in Daisy, so you can see where the Raptor is. Now, I'm kind of assuming for this video that you're familiar with installing mods to your local Daisy server. And in fact, you've got a Daisy server already installed. And I'll put a link to my video to how you can create a local Daisy server. So of course, the first thing you want to do is you'll want to copy the folder from inside your workshop folder. And then you want to go up and find your Daisy server folder. And then you want to right click and you'll want to paste it in. So you can see I've already done it. So there's DBO Raptors is, is there. Then you want to go into there. You want to go into the keys you want to copy the key and you want to go down to your keys folder in your local server and you want to paste it in there so you've got the key then what we want to do is we want to go into the um your start batch file so for me it's called start zombie admin so zombie but whatever your windows batch file or your dot bat file is the file that you click on to make your server start and you'll want to open that in your favorite text editor. I use um, some uh, Notepad++. And you want to find the start line. Now, your, your, your start batch file might not look like exactly like this, but it might look similar. And there will be a line that says start on it. And within the start line, you're looking for the mod section. See, there it is. And the mod section is the bit that says start my server with these mods. So as you can see, I've got a CF Zombie Admin tool. And then what you want to do is you want to put a semicolon and then you want to put at DBO underscore Raptors. If you're not quite sure about your spelling, remember you can just go up and if you left click uh, on a folder title and then right click, you can then copy that. And then you could go into there and you could just 
you know, paste it in and make sure you put that little semicolon there. And then you close it off with your um, inverted commas or your quotation marks and you want to save that. So that means that when it starts, it will start with and, and fire up the Raptors. But we've still got quite a lot to do. Now, at the moment, as of the 22nd of January 2022, um, what's actually inside the DBO Raptors um, files folder is a, is a little bit misleading. Okay, now hopefully Dino's Beano's will update this to make it a little bit easier because actually there's stuff in here that you don't actually need. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with installing the, the mod. So you can ignore the types folder um you can ignore the raptor territories folder because i found some errors in there so i recommend you don't really use that one the classes is a little bit useful so if you if you edit that with open that up in notepad plus plus you'll you'll have that section there but it's missing a little bit um, and then if you open up cfg spawnable types um, which is there you see you, you, you don't need that because you're not you're not spawning spawning them in like that so you don't need that file and then the other one is the cfg environment which you kind of need okay but i'm going to walk you through the other stuff now normally i would do a github repository for this stuff but because i think this is going to change fairly quickly then i'm not going to bother i'm just going to walk you through it okay so then the first thing we want to do is to um, create an event that will spawn the raptors in um, and the best way to think of the raptors is think of them as a as, as a scaly bear all right so what you want to do is you want to open up your events.xml file on your server so if you're not quite sure where that is it'll be inside mp missions daisy offline generous plus db and then right click and then edit with notepad plus plus and then you want to scroll down to find animal bear if i gone past it animal bear there it is and you want to copy your animal bear event from the sort of opening left arrow bracket to the closing right arrow bracket you want to copy all of that take it to the top and you can see i've already done it but you can if you create a uh, comment section by doing um left um bracket exclamation mark dash dash raptor space entry dash dash right uh what would you call that arrow bracket then you, know, you can see so i've copied animal bear and you just want to change animal bear to animal raptor like so and then the type of animal that it's actually going to spawn is actually a dbo underscore idrex now if you open up the classes.txt that comes with the add-on at the moment, you've got a large and a small raptor. You've got the DBO raptor and the DBO raptor B. These are really small raptors. They're little ones. I mean, they're fine, but they're not as impressive as the DBO underscore Idrex, which is the one you want. Now, Dino's Binos has talked about, hopefully, maybe changing this mod so that the raptors use the wolf AI, which would be really cool because that would mean that then they would hunt you like the wolves do and you could have a pack of raptors but at the moment we treat them like bears um, and the the thing you want to spawn is the dbo underscore idrex which is actually he does he, he mentions it down here i think yeah he mentions it down here but it's not actually in the in the classes so in your events file um, let's just wait for this to catch up here we go in your events file so we want animal raptor and we want to spawn in so it's uh d b o underscore i d r e x okay and that that would then spawn in the little um that was spawn in the raptor now what you probably want to do is increase the minimum and the maximum so a few of these spawn in now i've gone a bit crazy with this one because i was testing it so i've gone for min 76 and max 76 so basically almost every single spawn point there will be a raptor but you probably don't want something like that but you probably want to do min 10 max 10 that sort of thing um so let's get rid of that now so so you'll have that now and you can save that as you can see the, the one i've already prepared there is there so we've got animal raptor 
Now what we need to do is we need to kind of tell the game how you know what where should it find the animal raptors and what's the AI they should use. And so we do that within the CFG environment.xml file. So within your missions file, if you go up, so start again. So we're in our Daisy server. So go MP missions, Daisy offline .trainers plus, go into the ENV file. Sorry. Sorry, in the main file, sorry, down here. This is where we want to find the CFG environment.xml. So there it is CFG environment. And then you want to edit that with Notepad plus plus, and there it is. And your one won't it won't have this section in down here. So underneath the last bear territory, you want to put in a comment. So put left angle bracket exclamation mark dash dash raptor space entry space dash dash right um, angle brackets and then what you want to do is you just want to copy the bear territory down oh uh, uh, underneath the, the uh, raptor entry so you go copy and you would paste that there and you would change the name instead of bear change it to raptor like that so if you remember with our events our event name is animal raptor so it's raptor is the key and then in cfg environment what we're saying here is we're saying look for the event named raptor the animal event named raptor um, we want you to use the bear ai so the bliss bear group beh now the file notice we're using the bear territories file um, and I'm I'm doing that rather than using the Raptor Territories file because I found some errors in the Raptor, Raptor Territories file. Now, if by the time you come and do this yourself, you find that the, the, the you know that has been updated, by all means use the Raptor um, files. Um, I mean, you could use some of the others if you wanted to. I quite like using the Bear files because it means that these these raptors they're going to be in the woods they're going to be in the, the more hard to reach places um, and it's going to be a bit of a surprise when you come across one of these babies i think what i'll do is once i've done a video about how to install this on your remote server i'll do a more in-depth one where we probably have a number of different events maybe spawning in you know the big raptors in the countryside and, and the little raptors you know in the towns um, that would be quite cool to do it that way wouldn't it so anyway <laughs> so you put that in there and you'll make sure you save that one there we save our events file like that um, and that really um, that is it so all you need to do now is just restart your uh, local server and then if you go on uh, the I survive map and just look for the bear territories like there and then just move yourself around the map using your admin tools. As long as you've got enough um, events set up, that means you'll be able to come across one of these uh, one of these dinosaurs and um, be thoroughly amazed when it comes up and kills you in a couple of seconds. All right, so hopefully that will be useful. Again, many, many thanks to Dinos Beanos for this wonderful little mod. Um, and I imagine we're going to be seeing these dinosaurs on many, many servers uh, going forward. Brilliant. Look out for my one on how to uh, install it on a remote server soon, and I will see you again soon.